Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Dave and my goal is to help you level up as a data scientist. And in today's video, I decided I'll share my workspace with you. So my desk setup and all the hardware that I use to do my data science work. Uh, so as data scientists, we obviously spend a lot of time behind our desk. So we better make sure that it's optimized, uh, that it's efficient and uh, that we like it, of course. Uh, so we can better do our work. Um, so over the past three years or so, uh, I've made little tweaks and little upgrades to this whole uh, setup to basically optimize for three objectives. So the first one being uh, productivity, the second one being ergonomics, and the third one being aesthetics. So I work as a freelance data scientist, so I work 100% from home. So this is really next to my bed. This is the place where I spend my most time. So this really is my happy place. Um, so I want to make sure uh, that I like it, that, that it's productive, uh, that it's ergonomic, and also that it looks really cool. So that's what I will show you in today's video. So yeah, let's dive into it. So instead of making a fancy montage with some b-roll and a voiceover, I decided to just take out my iPhone and record the video like this. Uh, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description, so if you're interested in any of the parts, uh, you can look them up. Uh, so let's start with the desk itself, which is the most unique part about this whole setup in my opinion. And that is because it consists of four uh, separate parts from IKEA. So as you can see, there are two uh, drawers over here. And on top of that is a kitchen work table. Um, this is a well-known IKEA hack where you buy the two drawers and then put, put uh, the kitchen worktop on top. But what I've added is a sit standing mechanism that uh, you can buy separately. So this is just uh, the bottom part. And as you can see, it fits right in between the two drawers. And this turns this whole setup into a sit standing desk that I can put up and down. Uh, so it's electrically powered, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, overall the four parts uh, all have like the same color, so they give like a nice aesthetic. Uh, and there's also a lot of room for storage in the drawers as well. So yeah, really happy with how that turned out. So that is the desk uh, part of this whole setup. And then the main laptop that powers this whole setup, which is my uh, 13 inch uh, M1 MacBook Pro uh, from 2020. Uh, so this has the M1 chip and this is perfect for data science. The, the M1 chip is super fast uh, and it runs all the programs really smooth. Uh, so I'm a, a Mac user now. I used to work on Windows uh, for like the past 20 years or so. Uh, I've been working with, uh, with Windows, but uh, at the beginning of this year, I completely switched uh, to Mac and I'm loving it so far. Um, what I really like about this whole setup is that it's powered with only two cables at the moment. So if I unplug these two cables, uh, I can just take my MacBook with me, uh, go somewhere else. And then once I get back home and want to use the setup again, I just uh, put my MacBook here, plug the cables in. Uh, so that is what powers this whole setup. And then the monitor. So this is a really awesome monitor. It's a, a 4K 32 inch Dell Ultra Sharp. Um, I really love how uh, huge it is and once you get used to it, it's pretty hard to, to go back to a smaller monitor. Uh, it's probably a bit overkill for just uh, data science work because uh, it has a really high color accuracy. That's also what makes it on the expensive side. But I also uh, like videography and editing photos, so that's uh, why I decided to go with this screen, so for the color accuracy. Um, yeah, besides that, I love working with one large monitor instead of uh, dual monitors. So I do use my MacBook screen to uh, put my calendar and my tasks on, for example. But uh, when I work, this is uh, where my main focus goes. So then the mouse and keyboard, which are both from Logitech. Uh, they're both wireless. The adapters go into the back of this monitor. Uh, they have a US This monitor has some USB ports. So that's really convenient. Um, they both go for about two weeks, I think. Then I have to charge them. Um, not a big deal. You can also use them while they are charging. So uh, that is nice. Um, 
So this is the MX Keys keyboard, which I really love. It's really nice and sturdy. It's pretty heavy. Um, there's backlighting. It has some media keys. So really awesome. And then this is a gaming mouse. It's the Logitech Pro X Super Light. So uh, it's a really light mouse and I really like that. And it's a gaming mouse, so it's really accurate. So I really like the, like the speed and accuracy of this mouse. I've tried the MX Master uh, in the past, uh, which is a really popular mouse, but I prefer this one uh, over the MX Master, definitely. Um, so then there's also a mouse mat over here, which is also from Logitech, a big nice one to cover the, the main area of the desk, uh, also gives like a nice aesthetic to complete the look. So three items from Logitech and then this microphone setup, which I've recently upgraded to. This is the Shure SM7B, uh, which is a really popular microphone amongst YouTubers and podcasters because it's a really high quality uh, microphone. Probably a bit overkill uh, for just data science uh, and when you have to do your team meetings, but I've upgraded it to it to basically improve the quality of my videos and the tutorials that I make. Um, so I want to go into all the details, but uh, so the microphone is hooked up to a Rode PSA um, arm. Uh, it goes into this audio interface uh, from Focusrite and then uh, somewhere down there behind uh, the desk is also a cloud lifter to uh, make the quality of this microphone even better. Um, so yeah, it's quite a complex setup, but it's really awesome. And when, when I have a meeting, I can just put it into place and then my camera will be over there where I'll have my teams open and then microphone will be here and audio will be nice and clean. And once I'm done with the meeting, I'll put it away. Um, so yeah, that's really nice. Get it out of the way, take it whenever you need. And um, yeah, I really love the microphone setup so far. What else we got? We got the speakers over here. So there's one over there and also one over there, uh, which are Logitech speakers with a nice RGB backdrop. There's also a subwoofer. Um, audio quality is really nice. So I use those uh, when I listen to some music. Uh, when I edit my videos or of course when I'm in meetings uh, to hear my team. Um, yeah, the, the RGB backdrops uh, give like a cool ambience, uh, I think. Um, really gives a nice look. Then I also got my Bose Quiet Comforts here, which are awesome headphones. I've had these for five years already, I think, uh, and I love them. Uh, I use these when I really want to do a focus session and I want to, when I'm coding, for example, um, I put these on, listen to some, uh, some music. It really gets me in the zone. So loving those as well. Um, then let me see. Um, I always keep a notebook by my side, not really to write notes, but basically when I'm writing code, I like to plot out and draw out uh, functions. For example, this really helps with my thinking. So I always keep a notebook around. And then over here, we got a monitor arm attached to a laptop stand, which create like this floating effect for my laptop, uh, which I really like. And it's also very convenient uh, because this way I can just keep my laptop here, uh, use my camera over there. And I can also use it as a second monitor, as I mentioned, to put my calendar on and stuff. And it creates a nice clean look. And then we got the chair, which is a Secret Lab Omega. Uh, I really love this chair. Uh, it's basically a gaming chair, but um, it's made to basically sit in it all day and uh, yeah, really support your back. So it has this lumbar support cushion and this neck support cushion. Um, so yeah, lovely chair, um, perfect to sit in all day. And also think it looks really cool and it matches the overall black and white aesthetic of this whole setup. And then the final awesome part about this desk is this little remote over here that is connected to these automated blinds from Ikea. So I can use this remote to lower the, the blinds and control them. Uh, and this remote get uh, stuck uh, underneath this desk using a little magnet. So that's really nice. So when the sun shines through this window into my monitor, for example, I'll just tap the bottom over here and I can tr control uh, the blinds to make sure I can see my screen. So yeah, everything is set up in a way so that it doesn't matter whether I'm coding or I'm in a meeting or whether I'm recording a video. Um, everything uh, is within a hand's reach. So uh, whenever I do my work, 
this will be my main focus. Then whenever I have a meeting, I will grab the microphone over here. Uh, I'll have the meeting over there with my camera here. Um, so yeah, when I do a focus session, I put on the headphones, listen to some music, get to work, um, and also switch between uh, sitting and standing by elevating this whole setup. Um, and also all the cables, everything um, is managed in such a way that I can just uh, put this desk at like a standing level without having to tweak with any of the cables. So that's also really nice. And of course, there's also a lot of storage over here. So yeah, pretty happy with uh, how this uh, setup turned out. Uh, as I said, I've tweaked and upgraded uh, it uh, a couple of times over the years and I will probably continue to do so. So yeah, let me know what your favorite part about this desk is. Uh, I would love to hear that. And if you have any questions about any of the parts or anything that I, like, I explained, uh, just leave a question in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll be making more videos related to data science, uh, machine learning and Python. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely subscribe. See you next time.